been on the road for a while and haven't made a lot of videos. I think you guys deserve some videos, and uh, we we're think, sick of talking to each other, honestly. You know what? I'm kind of uh, sad because we did we didn't meet a lot of our uh, members in Buffalo, and uh, I want to interface. I was like ready to interface, so now all the energy that didn't go to those guys is going to go straight to the audience here on Twitter. We're taking it out on our website. And in all fairness, we've been arriving rather late into our target city. So I think we'll be getting later every single time we get somewhere. I think we need to get the hell out of bed. Yeah. <laughs> what, the what the hell? All right, so we got some questions here. Jimmy's going to filter them uh, and uh, just throw some questions out and we'll answer them. It'll be fun. All right, yeah, our first problem. question is uh, from Jen from Newegg. Uh, when doing a dine and dash, is it best to leave all at once or gradually? Oh, she's looking for some pointers here. I know what she's doing. Mm -hmm. Hope she didn't need that advice while well, she was tweeting. Let's ask, how many people are we talking here? Uh, yeah, I think the party has a, has a lot to do with it. You know, an old favorite is always the uh, each person go to the bathroom one at a time. Yeah. The table starts to slowly peel away. Well, okay, let's say for, if there's two people, I would say both leaving at the same time. Or, no, actually two people, one going to the bathroom, then the other one leaving. Because it doesn't look as conspicuous if it's two people. Mine is always one at a time. Because whenever you see like multiple people at the same time get up, it, to me it's a red flag. Yeah. What about you, Dark Lord? Well, I think it's all about uh, conversation. I think if you get up like as a group and uh, go and just like joke around with a lot of people that work there, and as you're doing that, just kind of like go out the door. What about if there's like six people? Six people? I would say maybe pay the first few get pay, up by okay, themselves, listen, and then pay for your food. <laughs> yeah, pay for your yeah food. let's get that out of the way. You shouldn't go out to eat if you can't pay for your pay, food. Pay for However, your food. If, if the service is really terrible and they spit in your food. And they overcharge you, and they put things on the, on the list that shouldn't be on the list, and they want you to pay for. Just get up and be like, "What is this?" If they say anything, just walk out. Just right in front of them. Just walk out. I will say though, one thing that does work is just use your phone. Like, oh, I got a call, and then most people will not interrupt to call you. There's Go a, outside uh, to politely take it and take it in your car. There's an app. For this. There's an app called Fake Me Out of Here. Fake you, me you, out shake, of here? you give your phone a little shake. And uh, you can go in and set up presets uh, to have like a certain number of call. Yeah. And then all of a sudden your phone rings, it rings, you know, it rings loud, and you're like, oh shit, and you pick it up and it even shows up in your call history. So if someone later goes, no one no, called you. Yeah. Like right here, call history, three minutes long. So do we come up with a consensus on that answer? Pay for your food first of all. If not, then phone interruption is probably the most believable, I would say. Probably. But the question was about dining dashing. I mean, granted, we know we're supposed to pay for our food, but the question was about dining dashing. Okay, okay, so then my vote is phone interruption one at a time. Because then you can also you can also fake family emergency then. Yeah, I get, I get up and walk out. I don't know. They can chase me if they want to. Alright, the next question comes from Not. What's one thing we all do to keep constantly entertained on the road? Show tunes? Show tunes. Mm. That's what that was a question mark. <laughs> <laughs> um no, I've uh, I've done I've done the bit of theater and I've been in the car with the people who sing show, show tunes and that's like one of those like gun to your head type situations because yeah. they usually usually if you're with a bunch of theater people and they're singing show tunes they don't sing show tunes they are the show tunes they dance they flail their arms around while they're driving it's like ah. so no um, <laughs> I like to read while I'm driving. Yes, yes. Paint, painting, painting is also painting. a good thing to do. Put an easel right here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the eye easel. Uh, um, I, I listen to music and uh, we usually just joke around a lot. Yeah, so this trip specifically, we've talked a lot, we joke around, and then we usually shift and start making fun of other people or things that we see. Mostly uh, me. Yeah, mostly Jimmy, because, you know, easy target. Well, so there's a making fun of and giving a hard time. Yeah, right? exactly. Good old attaboy. But. Um, the other thing is, like, personally, when I'm driving by myself, it's uh, audiobooks because you kind of you skip the repetition. You're in the same music all the time. So. Yeah, these guys hadn't heard Masters of Doom read by Will Wheaton. Will Wheaton. Uh, Will Wheaton. Will Wheaton. And we were going to put that on, but we ended up talking. And I'm like, oh, it's been like four hours. And I keep pressing play and pause. So I just put. I think we got through like 20 minutes of that most. 20, I mean. I like two. Ten. Maybe two. Yeah. Like we kept pressing pause and I was like, I, and I kept restarting because you missed like the intro. And what happened? Because Mostly just been talking. Just joking just around. Just joking, yeah. talking. Yeah, so, yeah. All right. Can we get that one? Yeah. yeah. Next question. Uh, it's going to be like a two-part question for two different people because it's kind of like the same lines. That's the it. first part is from M. Konos and it says, what are our favorite beers? And then the second part comes from Rachel. 
and it says if we were limited to one beer, what would it be for the rest of our life? So, should we go around first with favorite beers and then... Yeah, sure. Okay, go. Favorite beer? Yes. Favorite beers, like... Beers with an S? Yeah, and then we'll say which one will be... Limited to like two or three. Yeah. I don't need like one from every single selection. Yeah. Right. And then if we could only choose one for the rest of our lives, what would it be? and I just come back to you? Yeah. <laughs> just like, you, go, you go first, because I'm, I'm almost okay. as he is. Sure. <laughs> My favorite type of beer? Free. That's usually what I go for. So free beer is Miller always Light. good. Yeah, My Little Light. <laughs> like like the, the connoisseur over here ordered me last night at Callahan's. Well, like, we didn't have much of a choice. Yeah. Then. Well, I guess I got Heineken and Miller Light. Yeah, um, I didn't order Miller Light. They brought so, Miller Light. Yeah, yeah, so here's my thing. Thinking about this like a little bit more randomly, I guess I would say uh, it depends on multiple factors. So I will say Guinness because I like stout, and I don't know how this question's phrased in the sense of with what uh, Rachel was saying. I'm just gonna tie it in right now. Uh, drink for the rest of my life. It'd probably be easier to find that than a more rare beer. So who knows what type of restrictions are actually put on that question? And hi, Rachel. I think there's too many different types of beers to like give out my favorite beers. So I'm just gonna say I like stouts, I like Belgians, and I used to really like wheats, but now that I'm into like really big stouts, I, I don't really think they taste as good anymore, but I still like them occasionally. But yeah, stouts and Belgians are probably my favorite. Yeah, but particular stouts, there's a million of each. I mean, like particular stout. Uh, I would say my favorite is the Imperial Stout. From Lagunitas? From Lagunitas, yeah, that's probably my favorite beer right now. And it's probably be the one that I would choose if I had to choose one beer right now. Alright, I really like the Dark Lord Imperial Stout. That's a damn good one. I, uh, had that one yeah. I believe the company from Norway is uh, Nogne, Nogne, and N-O, like N-O with a slash through it, G-N-E, I don't know how you pronounce it. Maybe that's right. Um, but they make a, a hell of an Imperial Stout. Um, I like those two. And uh, I also really like Devil Dancer and Pliny the Younger. Any topper is also good if I'm in a mood for something a little less heavy. One beer for the rest of my life. Probably, oh god, Devil Dancer. It's a triple IPA, it's delicious. Well, I think one other thing too is, if you're constantly trying new beers, I think your favorite changes, so it's kind of hard to nail it down. You might find something new. So I guess that would be always, a mood snapshot always, in time, right? Yeah, moods are always shifting. Sometimes I'm in the mood for, you know, a uh, 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 Pop Pistolas. Um, I'm in the mood for that sometimes. And it's like a sort of a dark current raisin rum flavored uh, Belgian style quad from Unibrew. So. so another thing we've been doing to keep ourselves busy is evidently paying tolls like a mother. Yeah, there's more than a lot of tolls. And we're actually going through one right now, so you get yeah. live toll action. Yeah, totally. <laughs> this is a Toll Simulator 2014. Toll Simulator. This Sorry, we don't have game. The, the FPV on there. Someone's gonna see this and make this into a game on Kickstarter. Toll yeah. Simulator. And if you if you can't pay up, the words "total" to go across the screen. Yeah. The two L's. Fatality. Or if you like drive through the rest of the game, there's gonna be cops chasing you for the money. Turns into GTA Five. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> guys, we live in a toll totalitarian. I'm done with that. Tower, oh, toll right. toll totalitarian state. Um, the next Thank question you. is from Chris Sunlam Gray. See you tomorrow. See ya. And he asks, who has the longest bathroom routine? Um, I would s probably Logan because he shaves. I've yeah. shaved. I've shaved a couple times. And he moisturizes, and then there's a little bit of exfoliation. You can kind of tell. <laughs> that, was, that was lovely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was still delicious. Moisturizes. Moisturizes. And they're good to use soap. But I mean, we're talking like the longest by like, he probably takes seven minutes. And that includes, compared to our that, that five. That includes a shower. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That includes shower, shaving, teeth brushing, and handstand. Bowl of minute rice, in and on. Yeah. All right, so. All right, and our last question, it comes from Rage, and he says, what has been our favorite part of the trip, land scenery, wise, or whatever? There has been almost no scenery since we left New England. Yeah. So. It's been mostly flatlands. Yeah, New Hampshire, Vermont, parts of uh, what else we went with? New York, New York, very State. small bit of Pennsylvania, and after that, there's Ohio, no scenery. Indiana. Now we're there's no Ohio. scenery in Ohio. Yeah. yeah, speed limit signs. Speed limit signs in Ohio, and they're all like 12 miles an hour police. Yes, exactly. Well, what would you guys think of Niagara Falls? I mean, 
mean, I've been there many times, so what do you guys think? Of I've been there a few times as well. It's, it's yeah. my first time. Yeah. What do you think? What do you think? Uh, I, I agree. Uh, you guys explained to me before we went there that it's better from the Canadian side eh, yeah. than it is from the U.S. side. Uh, that is true. Um, it was still, it was cool to see. It was just, you know, it was packed. Yeah. yeah we got a, we got a chopper. Yeah. So we got a chopper. Yeah. Do chopper now. Yeah, so we, we got a helicopter, uh, you know, because footage. And that was pretty cool. Yeah, you get to see a nice, I mean, it's, it's cool. Uh, I think my favorite part was going to the Blue Monk and then afterwards getting lost and finding others. You kind of have to get lost to find that because that's yeah. not something that, you know, if you look up a, a guidebook, it's not going to be like, hey, go to Mother's or whatever. It's going to be like, go down here to this nice, clean, new place that, and all that stuff. We yeah, it was like about, literally back alley. Yeah, yeah, we went to about four different places, and they kept giving us directions to different places a couple blocks away. And as we got to those places, we're like, we're not going to go here. Let's let's get somewhere else. And then we went to this one place, and they're like, yeah, just go down another block and turn on the alley. You're gonna, it's going to look like kind of like a shady alley, but you're fine. He's like, yeah, go down the alley with all the murderers. <laughs> yeah. And then we were walking down, we trusted his word, and that place was awesome. Yes. The food was uh, like five star. Yeah. It had at like one o'clock in the morning. What's the craziest part? Yeah, uh, full menu until three. We're talking full menu. Full menu means like rabbit and duck confit, as well as like also some lighter choices like portobello mushroom and uh, you know different type, types of Caribbean slaw, just all kinds of weird things like that. So yeah, we're only on day three, right? Yeah, yeah. So that was your favorite. Uh, what about you? What was your favorite thing? I thought Mother's was uh, about as good as you, about as good as it can get as far as like yeah. finding a hidden gem in the middle of Buffalo in the middle of the night. So yeah, that, that was well, pretty well, freaking awesome. I think we should give a shout out to Exotic Thickness. Exotic Thickness was awesome. That was. I'm glad that I know him now. Like, <laughs> yes. Just sitting, sitting in a diner, all of a sudden. Just exotic, exotic Thickness, name Thickness, and I don't remember the other guy's name on Twitter, but uh, it was like Goody. 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 Yeah. What's up, guys? It's yeah. Good to know that you guys are out there hanging out in Indiana. And, and realizing when we got back to the hotel that, that your Twitter handle was at exactly. exotic thickness. Yeah, and just they're just like okay. We had to get some we had some new laughs like your username, man. We're like, man, this is it. <laughs> this is <laughs> the username. We right have here. peaked. We might as well turn the car around and head <laughs> back. No. So um, yeah, I guess hey, Wisconsin. And we're traveling into Wisconsin yeah, right now. Made it. And here's some and uh, out the right side of the car. This is the tire debris. Um, yeah, I would agree that I think Mother's, the food was good. I think it was the whole experience that made it better. It was the fact that we had like yeah. run through this gauntlet to get there. And it seemed like everybody was screwing with us. We'd, we'd go to the gas station. And first of all, oh, there's no bathroom in the gas station. Like, oh, that's great. And then he's like, yeah, go down here, three lights. And it's like two lights are normally spaced. And like the third light is like 17 further blocks. Right. Um, then we get there and they're like, oh yeah, we don't serve food this late. But go over to this place. It's like, you got to be kidding me. I mean, we ended up we were two miles away from the hotel. I think we walked, what, a mile and three quarters yeah, we back? Yeah, I think more than a mile, honestly. Yeah, so, and then to finally find it and have it be awesome made it that much better. Yeah. So we had a lot of fun. And it's still only day three. We got a whole other day of adventuring going. Tonight we're stopping in Madison. So if any of you guys are going to be there, we'll see you there. Yep. So other than that, I think this ends up uh, our Q&A and we'll be able to do the same thing tomorrow. Maybe. Yeah. If you, you have some questions for us. Yeah, we'll try to drop this live uh, later on. And then, uh, like an all raw and stuff. Tell you yeah. good stuff. <laughs> is that style? Yes, it is. Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> he was smelling the rawness. The rawness. Oh, okay, I get this in. It's honest. All right. I think it's more of a heinous than a rawness. Yeah, a heinous. Peace out. <laughs> later, but turn it off.